Right, we have the essential skills chapter from the Heinemann Higher Mathematics textbook. These are the skills you should be fluent in from National 5 Maths. Uh, if you're not, you're going to struggle at higher. These need to be second nature to you, really. So I'm just going to go through each individual exercise. This is exercise one, collecting together like terms. So I'm just going to go over an example or two for each exercise. It may help you if you've forgotten what to do. So here we're simplifying terms. Hopefully this is straightforward stuff. So we go with the highest power first when we're writing our solutions. So I have 3a squared add 7a squared. And on the other squared terms, yep, we have 2b squared. We also have 5ab plus 4ab, and we're also subtracting 3b. So a squared and a squared, they're similar terms. ab, ab, similar terms, b squared and b. So then 3a squared at 7a squared is 10a squared. Uh, 5 lots of ab at 4 lots of ab would be 9 lots of ab, 9ab, plus 2b squared minus 3b. And that is collecting together like terms. We can have a go at exercise one on page 320 and 321 now. Exercise two deals with multiplying and dividing algebraic expressions. So again, I'm just going to run through some examples. So example A, simplify 3p in a bracket all squared multiplied by 5kp. Well, 3p in a bracket squared means 3p multiplied by itself. So 3 3s are 9. p times p is p squared. It would be 9p squared. We've still got to multiply by 5kp. So p squared times the p will give the p cubed. And the 9 times the 5k will be 45k. So we will have 45k p cubed. Uh, b, 24x squared y divided by 8y squared x. So I prefer to put them as a fraction rather than division sum here. So 24 over 8 is just 24 divided by 8, which is 3. x squared y, let's do it longhand, as x times x times y. y squared x is y times y times x. Again, the 8's gone because we've done 24 divided by 8 here. So we have an x here and an x here. They can cancel. We have a y here and a y here. They can cancel. So we're left with 3x over y. Part C. Negative 9t bracket st minus 5t squared. So we multiply everything in the bracket by the term at the front. So negative 9t multiplied by st. would be negative 9 multiplied by s. Then t times t is a t squared. And negative 9t multiplied by negative 5t squared. Negatives multiplied by negative always gives a positive. 9 fives are 45. t times t squared is t cubed. If you want, you could write it out longhand like we've done up here for the division, but we should be comfortable with just multiplying out like that. And d, 20x squared minus 5xy all over 10x. We've got to split this up into two separate fractions. So we have 20x squared over 10x. Well, 20 over 10 is 2. x squared over x. Well, x squared is x times x. So one of those x's would cancel the, with the x on the bottom on the denominator. And we'd just be left with 1x on the top of the fraction. So just left with 2x there. Uh, 5 over 10 is 1 over 2. It cancels down. x, y over x. Well, this x cancels with this x. We're just left with a y there. We could write 1y over 2 or a half y, or just writing y over 2. Remember, a letter on its own means there's one of those letters, so it's really 1y over 2. Right. You can have a go at, just click back there. You can have a go at exercise 2, starting on page 321, going on to page 322. Right, expanding brackets this is the next exercise. So the first question here, I've got this multiplied by this, subtract 6x, subtract two lots of bracket squared. So we need to 
apply the good old rules of board mass, we'll do any multiplying before addition or subtraction. So we're going to multiply out this bracket. We're also going to square this bracket, then double it, because it's two times bracket squared. So x squared times 3x is 3x cubed, because x squared times x is x cubed. Put the 3 there as well. x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared. Still subtracting negative 6. Uh, 3 minus x, all squared. If we need to, we could write that as 3 minus x, 3 minus x. We have land on that. We can just work out what bracket squared is straight away. If we notice when we do the foil thing, or you may call it something else, but we do that times that, that times that, then this times this, this times this. So when I'm saying foil first terms, outside terms, inside terms, last terms, if it's bracket squared, we will also get the first term times the first term. So it'll be the first term squared. So I could have just said, well, that's three squared. Then our outside and inside terms will just be the same. So we've got three times negative x and negative x times three. And our last terms will just be this term squared because it's negative x multiplied by negative x. Positive x squared. So we can just look at this and say, well, I know the first terms are going to give 3 squared. The last terms are going to give negative x squared. The outside and the inside terms are going to be 3 times negative x and negative x times 3. So we could get the negative 6x from there. So basically, square the first bit, square the last bit. Multiply these two things together to get negative 3x, then double it. Again, because negative 3x will be both the outside and the inside term, so we'll have to double it to get negative 6x. We can do that for any bracket squared problem. So we don't need to do it this way. If you want to do it that way, that is fine, of course, but we don't need to. So subtract 2 times 9 minus 6x plus x squared. So we've got all of this first bit done. That stays the same. Negative 2 times 9, negative 2 times negative 6x is positive 12x, negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. And again, we're collecting together like terms. So we'll have our x cubed term, we'll have our negative 4x squared, subtract 2x squared is negative 6x squared. We have 12x here and negative 6x, so that'll be six, positive 6x, and we have negative 18. Part B, just got bracket, bracket. So just like we've done FOIL, here we do the first term in the first bracket multiplied by the first term in the second bracket. First term in the first bracket multiplied by the next term. First term multiplied by the last term. Then we have the 3 times x squared, 3 times a minus 5x, and the 3 times a 3. We've got 2x multiplied by all of this. So we're going to have 2x cubed, then 2x times negative 5x, negative 10x squared, 2x times 3, 6x, then 3 times x squared, 3 times negative 5x, and 3 times 3. Again, once we have done that, we just need to tidy up carefully. That's our only x cubed term. We've got x squared terms are negative 10 plus 3, which is negative 7. Our x terms are positive 6, subtract 15, which is negative 9. And then we just have a plus 9 term. Uh, C, having a bracket cubed. So bracket cubed, bracket times bracket times bracket. Basically multiply the first two together. So again, using FOIL, I could have just squared this straight away. but So it will be the first term squared, which is 4x squared. The last bit squared, which is a plus 25. I've got minus 5 times 2x and 2x times negative 5. So we've got minus 10x minus another 10x. So 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. I'm going to multiply all of this by 2x minus 5. So first term times that bit, then times that bit. 
Then we have, just making sure that's the way we've done it. So I have actually done all of the first bracket multiplied by the first term here. So 4x squared times 2x, 4x, uh, negative 20x times 2x, and negative tw uh, 25 times 2x here. Then all of this bracket multiplied by the last term. So 4x squared times negative 5, negative 20x multiplied by negative 5, 25 multiplied by negative 5. Then after that, again, guys, we're just tidying up. So we've got 8x cubed. We've got minus 40x squared, minus 20x squared. We've got 50x at 100x, and we've got negative 125. So you can have a go at essential skills exercise number three, which is on page 323.